What's up, Star Wars fans? Yesterday you heard me complain a little bit about old footage for the Old Republic that we saw at the press conference, but guess what? We've used our force powers and we've got Gabe from Bioware here to show us in-game footage in a trailer regarding the new raid system in the game that you guys are talking about here at E3 2011. Specifically, they're called Operations. Gabe, tell us all about it. Yeah, no, we're excited to show the first time Operations. At E3 here, we're showing a lot of our older, our elder game con uh, content, higher level stuff, showing the level of polish and the um, Bioware sort of storytelling RPG elements that everyone's excited about. And we've taken that immersive experience and applied it to the raids as well. So we're going to let players sort of live those moments from the, from the scenes of the movies. And the first raid, the video we're going to be showing in a little bit here, is going to have, it takes place on Belsavis. Belsavis conveniently has three different climates, snow, jungle, and lava. Are we showing it right now, aren't we? Yes. Right on. There it is. So yes, yeah, so you approach this. This has this is an ancient prison. Ancient alien race has a lot of a lot of vicious characters here. And you approach it because a conflict that was going on between the Republic and the Empire, they inadvertently compromise the security of this prison. So you've got to go over here and quell the threat. It's a guy that's been sort of hold it up for 20,000 years and he once ruled 10,000 planets. So it's kind of a big deal. Kind of a threat. Huge deal. So as you approach, you saw you were in an escape pod there because you got shot down and you're in the mix right here. We're running through the prison. And, well, wait, <laughs> but that's okay. The raid uh, we're cutting the raids out are looking the... amazing yeah. so far. I mean, and honestly, this is at the this is at the core obviously of the experience that you guys are trying to generate within Star Wars The Old Republic and talk about its level of importance for you guys to sell Star Wars fans on this game. We're going to go back to the trailer and you can tell us all about sure, it. Sure, sure, yeah. So no, we're, 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 like I said, scenes out of the movie. We're letting them play it. You saw at the beginning there, sort of how that Hoth-esque thing. You got this giant sort of prison security droid that comes down. We're going to listen in on this trailer. All right. We don't do anything while well, the war against the Republic may be nothing next to what will come. The Eternity Vault defenses are active. Get to the escape pod. Absolutely epic battles taking place in Star Wars, the Old Republic. And again, as we started to get into before we went full audio on that trailer, which was pretty amazing, um, let's talk a little bit about why this is so important to solidifying Star Wars as such a great MMO, these types of experiences you're looking to create. Yeah, well, we have a fully featured MMO, and this is part of it. It's an important part of it, this sort of multi-group content that we get together at the end. And we're calling them operations, so players will get together with, you know, several different friends and go on an ops, important missions, and they'll play out sort of scenes that are reminiscent from the movie. Like you saw there at the end, the, you know, the guy, he, you know, he's going to be an uber force wheeler. He's going to start bringing the environment down around you. So it's, you know, it's those scenes with, we, we've got the environmental elements. At the beginning, you've got the sort of Hoth scene, the, the snow. So yeah, so we're just trying to give the players the, that experience. They can live it with their friends. Now, obviously, you want to make this the best MMO it could be in terms of redefining the genre. But also, with the Star Wars license, there might be some new players as well coming into the fray. Mm -hmm. How have you managed to make balance that out and make it accessible and also entertaining for the hardcore? Well, I'm glad you asked that. For example, with the operations, once you hit level 50, you're going to be able to go in there and you know play it with your friends. We're going to have various different difficulty modes, much like with other Bioware games. Um, also, just the immersive, the immersive quality of the different combat systems and the storytelling and the choice that engages you, it sort of inherently makes it accessible. 
more people able to identify with the characters, identify with the situations. There's not as much of a sort of gameplay leap. Right. You know? Yeah, I think people have been so excited for this project. The million dollar question I think a lot of people wanted coming into E3. When's it coming out? When are we going to get our hands on this game finally? What are you guys saying here at E3 2011? Well, we're, we're working hard on it, bringing it to the end. Uh, Bioware quality is very important. We're targeting it for 2011. For 2011, and have you been increasing that messaging and letting your fans know? Hold on, it's almost here. Because 2011, I mean, you know, there's just a few more months. No release date, though. Correct, Jared? Yeah, yeah. We haven't given a specific one, but we're targeting it. And the important thing is, you know, bringing it to that quality level. And that's why we're excited here at D3, showing how some of our higher-level content is there. And that's what you're showing on the floor, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're showing tattooing, we're showing some scenes from Alderaan, etc., which is some of the higher level planets. I know the floor has only been open a few hours, but have you been able to gather any feedback thus far from people who have finally gotten their hands on Star Wars The Old Republic? Oh, I mean, it's 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 overwhelmingly positive. It's yeah. like people just need to get in there and play it. And when they play it, it's sort of, it's one of those things that, you can, you know, you can see the videos, you can see it in trailers, but once you get your hands on, you realize you're in another world. Because the world is expansive, it's massive. Several planets, the zones are big, It's and there's just, you know, so many different avenues you can take with a different choice, like the Bioware choice is right. applied to, you know, the RPG elements. So you'd be hard-pressed to have the same experience as your friend. Speaking of make choice, different choices, class progression obviously is a big component of the game and something mm -hmm. that you guys are looking to make uh, and add authenticity to the to the gameplay. Mm -hmm. What classes are available for people to play on the floor here? Um, they they can play just about all the just classes. About all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, it's all where we have level twenty characters, level thirty characters around that range. And so after you get to level ten, you branch into advanced classes. Right. So we have our four base classes. So like the bounty hunter goes power tech or vanguard that kind of thing. And we have all those available for people to play. What's it's your like favorite a... class? <laughs> Come on, Gabe. My favorite class. So I have two answers for that. Okay. Um, the Jedi Knight Guardian because I really enjoy playing a tank type character. And then the um, the agent operative, healing and cover, because cover is a very unique mechanic for right. what we have offering here, and it's fun to play. All right. Well, we're taking a look at some of the CG stuff that's come out for Star Wars The Old Republic, which is undoubtedly amazing. Talk a little bit about how this is appealing to the audience. I mean, obviously, we're talking about an MMO here, so this is really setting the stage, uh, you know, in terms of graphical quality. The game is looking great, don't get me wrong, but what yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. is, you know, it's not this, but talk a little bit about what these trailers do uh, to keep fans of this game excited. Well, I mean, you know, they, they, they bring you into some of the backstory, the setting, it's, it's that, that emotional sort of engagement gets you in, sees that the conflict is going, the conflict is real between the Republic and the Empire. Um, and we can we showcase the different classes in sort of subtle ways here. So you get your trooper class, the guy in the, the red and white there, of course you have your um, your Jedi, your Sith warriors, and your Sith, your Sith Inquisitors and stuff like that, and some of the other trailers that we were showing at the, uh, the convention as well. And right guys, here, this is Alderaan. This is taking place on Alderaan here. I know you guys stay invested in your community over there at Bioware, and obviously there's been a slow trickle of information ever since this game was first announced. And you've done a good job of keeping people informed about where things are going mm -hmm. and just filling them in on the art direction and stuff. But in terms of the community, aside from the release date, what is the what are the, the most frequent questions that you get about the game? Um, it depends on well, everyone. We keep saying it's a fully featured MMO, so there's a lot of questions about rate and right. operations, like the multi-group content, which we were excited to, to talk about today. But, I mean, we have everything in there. We have social hubs, we have flashpoints, which are our single group content, and those are very story-centric. It's not going to be like your typical dungeon crawl. It's like you make choices, you decide to spare the captain, kill the captain, and you might have a different boss, you know, that you have to fight on one end or the other. So they want to, they want to hear, you know, about the different um, features, and, and rest assured, we have all the MMO features, and we have that quality Bioware storytelling. Yeah, absolutely. And in terms of newcomers who might be coming to the genre, obviously mm -hmm. there's uh, another huge MMO. But you're offering a few things that are different in terms of gameplay and experiences besides just a Star Wars license, correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, uh, you know, again, like instead of the, the typical questing, you get, you're, you're in there and you have your companion characters who are sort of an audience to what you're doing as well. And, and the choices you make, they'll react to it, that kind of stuff. It's, I mean, I keep going back to the phrase, but it's, it's true. It's a very immersive experience. And it's like, a, you know, non-believers who come to it are like, you know, the power gamers and stuff. You know, we're seeing uh, time and time again, they get turned around. 
Yeah, and it's that additional pillar being brought to MMO that was talked about from day one with this, which is story, correct? Story, yeah. Right. And we so got story, we got combat, we got progression, we got exploration. And story is a huge one. Yeah, enormous amount of, of work has gone into this and also enormous, enormous amount of pressure to fulfill the expectations of all the Star Wars fans out there. How is the team holding up? You guys excited? Are you nervous? Oh, we're, we're amped, we're amped. Are you? It's, it's total excitement. Yeah. Yeah. As we're bringing people in to have, you know, um, taste of the game and play it, it's just really fun and exciting to see their, their, their positive reactions. Right, and as we get closer to launch, I'm sure it's going to be a, an event for the industry. Mm -hmm. Of course, do you guys have anything special planned for, I know we don't have a launch date, mm -hmm. but I mean, I'm sure there's been talk of what we're gonna do around launch. Are you gonna get online and uh, and play? Of oh, I, I play, of course I play. Yeah. I'm gonna be playing. Um, am I gonna reveal what server and what character name? No. Probably not. <laughs> no. Well, I'll look for you and I'll see you online, Gabe. Thanks so right much, on. we appreciate it.